Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. Hi, I'm Emmy Hall, and welcome to another episode of Roadfly TV. This week, I've got a minivan. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, fuzzball, because this is the eight-passenger 2011 Honda Odyssey, and it's perfect for parents who aren't quite ready to give up and put on those elastic waist pants, or bands that are out on the open road. To start with, Honda has really upped the ante in minivan styling. Last year's model was a bit of a snooze fest, but the newly redesigned exterior for the 2011 features a wider stance, a fairly aggressive front end, and this lightning bolt style line here down the side. Now, not only will that distinguish it from other cars in the parking lot, but it also gives your third row passengers a bit of a bigger window. Honda has also made the really bold design choice by deciding to keep the rails for the sliding door here on the outside. Now, it's a design choice that I really like, but y'all have seen the way I dress, so take that with a proverbial grain of salt. Now, you can't really talk about a minivan unless you talk about its interior, and oh, what an awesome interior we have here in our touring test model. This third row of seats offers plenty of room for three full-size adults to sit back here, and they recline, baby. The second row of seats has got a few tricks up its sleeve as well. It's got something called the wide load function, which means that, I'm sorry, it's really called wide mode, but it should be called wide load because these exterior seats will move out just a little bit to better accommodate the wide butts of three full-size adults. Now for the kids, the Honda Odyssey is the only minivan that will allow for three child seats in the second row and two child seats in the back row. I mean, that's like the starting lineup of a basketball team, right? And if you've got a little one that you want to have just a little bit closer to you, this middle seat of the second row will slide forward five and a half inches. So now you can say, don't make me come back there and actually be able to do it. The top two trim levels of the Odyssey are loaded up on technology features. Sure, all the levels have what you've come to expect on a new car, like controls mounted on the steering wheel, cruise control, home link, and heated seats. But the fun doesn't really start until you get to the upper trim levels. Our test model has got it all. Bluetooth and iPod integration, satellite radio, an excellent in-dash navigation system, and a backup camera. Your passengers will most likely fall in love with the car theater system, which features a 16.2 inch screen with split screen capabilities and an HDMI port. So the screen quality is pretty good and it comes with two sets of wireless headphones. Your HDMI port over there allows you to connect any kind of a gaming console and you've got two audio ports over here so that when you're using the split screen functionality, you can hear what's going on on either side. And your kids will be able to control for themselves what's going on. Now if you'll excuse me, this is my favorite part. The center console of the Odyssey is removable, allowing you better access to the rear of the van. It's also loaded with a lot of really great little details, like this hook down here for your bag, multiple power outlets, 15 cup or water bottle holders, and probably my favorite thing, the cool box, which will keep cool your six pack of soda or your four pack of water bottles. And of course, you'll be able to teach your kids to say hello when you show them the sunroof. <laughs> The side doors and the tailgate can all be opened automatically with your key fob here. In the back with your seats up, you have 38.4 cubic feet of space. But this third row of seats flips down pretty easily. It's actually like magic. So with the third row of seats folded down, you get 93.1 cubic feet of storage space, giving it a laundry basket rating of six. So let's face it, you're probably not buying the Odyssey for its engine prowess but it's got enough guts to get you on the highway and rolling in the fast lane with its V6 engine producing 248 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque. That will take you from zero to 60 in a respectable for a minivan 8.8 .8 seconds. But what's really remarkable about the Odyssey is its fuel economy. You've got 19 miles per gallon in the city and 28 miles per gallon on the highway. Most of that is due to the um, variable cylinder management system, which means that the engine will use three, four, or six cylinders, just depending on what kind of power is needed. You know, normally I like to pick sides, but it's great to have all the power of a V6 when you need it and the economy of a smaller engine when you don't. Almost as impressive as its fuel economy is the way the Odyssey handles. In fact, if you didn't have screaming kids or screaming bandmates or whatever it is that you're hauling in the back, you would almost forget that you were driving a minivan. The independent suspension is gonna give you a really smooth ride. The struts in the front and the multi-link design in the back ensure a really smooth ride even along the city streets. 
The steering is pretty responsive and I mean, I'm not afraid to admit it. Driving the Odyssey is not boring. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a sports car or anything, but if you're gonna have to drive a minivan, you might as well get one that offers you some kind of driving pleasure. Road noise is minimal and the driver's seat has 10-way power adjustments with lumbar support and it comes with two um, memory settings. Even the passenger seat has got four-way power adjustments and all of that contributes to a really smooth ride. The base model of the 2011 Honda Odyssey comes in at $27,800. But our tricked out touring model here is just over 41 grand. Now, if you're gonna hit the road with your brood of kids or maybe go on tour with your band, I'd recommend that you look at the EXL trim level. You'll lose the in-dash navigation and the in-car theater system, but at $34,450, the price is a lot easier to take, especially when you consider that most of us already have gadgets that will play a DVD or are GPS enabled. So the Odyssey is not quite the hippest ride on the block, but it's a lot better than the minivan your mom drove you to the junior prom in. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching Roadfly TV. I am Emmy Hall and I totally want to hear from you. You can like me on Facebook or you can join our Roadfly community by subscribing to our channel and leaving us a comment. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.